Hello everyone and welcome to Sandra's Crafting Corner. If you would, please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. Also like, comment, and share. This video is part of a Halloween slash fall DIY challenge. Hosted by Heidi Sambal from Heidi Sambal DIY. I will have the link to her channel as well as the link to the playlist in my description box below. Let's get started with DIY number one. The items you'll need are these chalk paints and waxes, four caps from empty medicine bottles, scrap pieces of foam core, a Cricut or Silhouette and vinyl in the color of your choice, a fine black paint pen, an ultra fine white paint pen, a crate from the Dollar Tree, these various tools, any kind of measuring tape, 10 gauge copper wire, some clean release painters tape, ribbons of your choice, two pumpkin clips from the Dollar Tree, super glue, excelsior grass, and an extra fine black ink pen. Now on to the DIY. The first thing I did was take this Santa red and paint this whole crate with two coats. Please excuse my voice. My daughter got married today and we had a whole lot of fun. I found this free Radio Flyer SVG file and I thought it would look really cute on my wagon. I lost one of the tiny E's so I just added it back with the paint pen. Next I'm going to take these little pieces of tape and trace around these little medicine caps. That way I can get the exact part of the hubcap without any paint on it. After cutting them out, I'm just going to add them to the very tops of the caps. Now I'm just going to paint the tires. This part of the video shows the tape a little further down, but I ended up painting that part black too. After removing all the painter's tape, I'm going to take this white chalk paint and I'm going to paint just the little hubcaps. With my Cricut machine, I cut out four little red dots to put in the middle, just like the real Radio Flyer wagon has. With some spare foam core board, I decided to make a little insert so we have more gluing surface. After cutting out only two, I then split them in half. That way I could just put it at the top of the wheel. On the inside, of course. I did this to all four wheels. Now I'm just going to hot glue them into place, making sure to get some glue around everywhere. Taking this scrap piece of 2x3, I'm going to take this sheepskin chalk paint and paint it halfway down all the way around. Now taking this 2.5 inch buffalo check ribbon, I'm going to make it some little clothes. I didn't need the wires in it, so I went ahead and pulled those out. To make the edges nice and neat, I went ahead and folded them under and glued them. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just going to glue the little pants on. Using this Excelsior grass, I'm going to make some hair on her. I want her to look like my granddaughter who has blonde hair. She always has a cute little ponytail on top of her head so that's what I'm attempting to do here. Starting at the bottom of the head, I'm going to put the Excelsior grass going upwards so that way I can later put it in a ponytail. I will do this to both sides and the back. For the front of the head, I'm going to put on some little bangs. I'm going to take this cute polka dotted ribbon and cut it in half to make a bow for her hair. Now it's time to give that hair a little bit of a trim. Here she is. Now let's finish her outfit. First thing we got to do is glue down the overhang from the front piece. Now using the one and a half inch buffalo check ribbon, we're going to do the sides. Doing the same thing as we did with the front, we're going to remove the wires and then trim up the edges and then go all the way around gluing it. Again using the one and a half inch ribbon, we're going to make some little arms. Cut two strips the full length of the side and remove the wires. Taking a tiny bit of Excelsior grass, we're going to put that right at the bottom of the ribbon and glue it into place. Next we're going to fold the ribbon lengthwise and glue it shut. I did end up having to trim the arms just a little bit. Now we're just going to fold down the tops a little bit and glue them down. Now all we're going to do is just glue down her arms. Here comes the best part, making the face. I 
I took this ultra fine felt tip pen to make the little stitches on her face. And I'm going to use the ultra fine white paint pen to add on the little highlights. Taking the 10 gauge copper wire, I'm going to make the little handle. Make sure you put a good size amount underneath the wagon. Now you just hot glue it and then tape over top of it. You could go ahead and paint the tape red, but I didn't bother with it. Now it's time to glue on the wheels. I cut another little piece for the handle and then I tried to hot glue it on. As you can see, it did not stay. Now I'm going to fill the wagon with some Excelsior grass and then put the little scarecrow inside. I'm going to super glue the handle on and now it will stay. Later I will add a couple pumpkins to the wagon. On to DIY number two. The items you'll need for this DIY are these various tools, a crate from the Dollar Tree, a utility or X-Acto knife, scrap pieces of foam core, four caps from empty medicine bottles, raffia but only the brown one, two outer lids from mason jars, six inch wood dowels from Dollar Tree, a cricket or silhouette, and vinyl in the color of your choice. Wood glue, super glue, excelsior grass, 10 gauge copper wire, and twine. Now on to the DIY. First thing I'm going to do is take this antique wax and paint the crate. I will paint the inside and outside. I got the pattern for this truck from the Crafting Cousins, so I will link their channel, but I will not tell you the dimensions. That is up to them. Using the foam core, I'm going to make a base that is slightly smaller than the truck itself. Now I'm just going to take my utility blade and cut it out. Using this black chalk paint, I'm going to paint the base. I will do this on all sides. Now it's time to paint the pieces of wood. I'm going to paint them everywhere except where they're going to be glued together to each other and to the crate. Next I'm going to take these bigger bottle caps and paint them all black. It's kind of hard to see here, but I'm going to use these little jack-o'-lanterns as the hubcaps. Just like this. How cute. It's time to assemble the truck. I will be using wood glue and hot glue, making sure they do not touch each other. For the full instructions on how to assemble this truck, head on over to the Crafting Cousins channel that I will have linked below in the description box. After cutting the mason jar lids in half, 
I'm going to then paint them black. Using the foam core, I'm going to do the same thing to the wheels as I did in the last DIY. I printed and cut these spooky headlights and grill off my Cricut. I will then add them to the front of the truck. I also printed out some rounded rectangles for the windows, but silly me, I forgot to hit record. After I figure out where I want my fenders, I'm going to attach them using this super glue. I will do this for both sides. Now it's time to add the wheels. going to make three flying witches brooms. I'm going to take the brown raffia and wrap it around my hands a few times just to get a few bristles. Then insert a dowel and wrap it up and tie it up with twine. I'll then add just a little dab of glue to secure it. Then you just cut the loops at the bottom of the broom. You're going to do this two more times. I also forgot to record the part where I drilled a hole at the top of the dowel. I removed the coating off the copper wire, that way it would be closer to the twine color. All I'm doing out of camera shot is just bending the wire. What I'm trying to attempt is the illusion of the brooms flying away and they have to hold them down with twine. Once you get them placed where you want them, then you're going to line the copper wire with twine, making it look like they're flying with the twine connected. To make sure the wires stay in place, I'm going to hot glue and then put tape over top of that. Now I'm going to pull the twine taut and actually glue it to the hole in the back of the truck. That way it looks like it's actually tied down. I did the same thing to the third broom and now I'm going to attach it to the hole in the back of the truck as well. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of Excelsior grass just to make it look nice. I got on my Cricut again to make a little decal and then it was done. And here are my finished projects. I hope you like them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to check the description box below for Heidi Sambles channel as well as the playlist for this challenge. If you're new here and like what you saw, please consider subscribing to my channel and ringing that bell to be notified of my future videos. If you're not new here, welcome back. Would you please like, comment, and share my video? Thank you, and take care.